With Dakar Rally, navigation is everything. As soon as one thing goes wrong, it's straight out the window and you may as well pack up and go home. Australia's Toby Price is a cross-country world champion and a two-time Dakar winner. Right now, he's preparing to defend his 2019 Dakar title. Nobody knows what they're in for and what's expected of the race, really. It's our biggest race of the year, and it's the only one that we we need to win or have to win, really, I guess. So it's, um, yeah, if, if anyone really kind of says they're not nervous for it, then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that will work out. Dakar 2020 is taking Price and his teammates into uncharted territory in Saudi Arabia, the 30th country to host the race. We're going to be in a completely new space and um, basically, yeah, it's two weeks worth of racing and it's going to be another completely different challenge for us. So we're, we're excited for what lies ahead and we're going to give it our best shot. I expect a tough race, will be a complete new world. I expect a fast, fast race, and I hope I can do good with my, with my style for, for Saudi Arabia. Challenges will come in many forms in Saudi Arabia. Starting in Jeddah, riders have 12 days to navigate vast and varied terrain in sweltering heat on their way to the finish. The daily challenges of the Dakar are something the KTM team are very familiar with. So yeah, wake up, like uh, depending on the stage, but the worst case can be 2.30, 3 a.m. And normally you have like one hour to, to get dressed and then take the breakfast. You put your gear on, you put your roadbook on your bike. Leave the bivouac. Uh, do the liaison, arrive to the start of the special. This can be also to almost 600 kilometers. Then we finish, we have a second liaison to go to the VBAC. Then we arrive. Yeah. Try to get something to eat. Um, see the physio if you have some issues. I'll start painting the road book, three, four hours of that, and then prepare all the material for the next day. And then we eat dinner and we go to sleep. Because the next day is going to be another early start. <laughs> The longest day was 1,180 k's, what I remember. And we start like four o'clock in the morning and we arrive at seven or eight o'clock in the afternoon to, to finish. The most daunting part is just basically that day one of taking off and then just realizing, yeah, okay, I've got nine, nine and a half thousand kilometers of this uh, in front of me to come. And then just not knowing what you're, what you're going into every day um, makes it difficult as well. But once you get on the bike and you forget about those things and you're just trying to concentrate on getting through and getting your navigation right. I know how hard it is just to finish because in, in such a long race, there is many, many things is not under your control. That lack of control has led to some tough lessons. It's not so much about the pain that you have during the crash. Yeah, you have pain or if you broke something, it sucks. But it's like the disappointment and sat at home watching the next race or trying to recover from an injury. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
The biggest one, yeah, is breaking my femur in 2017. Um, that one, yeah, definitely, definitely hit home pretty hard. And yeah, it basically took me out for the whole 2017 season and then uh, trying to get organised for 2018. 2019 was especially rough for Matthias Wagner, who had to recover from a broken ankle. Back in 19 was really painful after the fourth day with my, with my broken ankle, but in the end was a really nice happy end, what I will never forget. That happy ending came in the form of a second place finish behind teammate Toby Price. In order to minimize the chance of season ending injuries, riders meticulously prepare. Training and nutrition are key, but so is the Bible of rally raid navigation, the road book. Everyone has their own color system, like they'll paint different colors for dangers or direction change or cap, as I do. It's got like a little bit of a system worked out, green to go, flat out and fast. Any like, looks like type the navigation turns, I mark in a blue. With Dakar Rally, navigation is everything. If you can't navigate, for sure as anything, you're not going to be near nowhere near the front. One small little mistake can cost you minutes and can cost you hours. As soon as one thing goes wrong, it's straight out the window and you may as well pack up and go home. Where have you been? No, the, this is wrong because the roadbook said before the river. One of the important to things is to be yeah. able to switch it off of race mode in the difficult situations and, and find your way and then switch back on again and not be afraid to, to slow down when you need to, but it's easy to sit here and talk about. <laughs> There are big changes at Dakar 2020. The race is moving from South America to Saudi Arabia. Leia Sands is moving to a new team. Yeah, the Gas Gas brand is a Spanish brand with a lot of history close to my home. So this makes this special. My time in KTM team was the best part of my career so far. But now is a new chapter and I feel honored to represent a home brand. My bike is, is really good. Uh, I feel really comfortable. Uh, I think it's a, a, the perfect bike for, for Dakar. It has a lot of endurance and it's a fast bike and it's easy to ride. So I think it's the perfect bike. With the KTM team strong in body and mind, they're looking to bring their Dakar winning streak into the next decade. The slogan is uh, ready to race. And even though I won 18 Dakars in a, in a row, the guys are still kind of with like an underdog mentality and, and want to work and always uh, searching to go that extra mile, you know, to get the job done. And uh, everyone knows what he's there for and everyone's got the same uh, goals in mind. To be at the finish line of a Dakar is like the best feeling in the world. It kind of feels like, yeah, the, all the, the weight's been lifted off your shoulders and it's not easy going, it's not an easy race and um, hopefully, yeah, we can keep that podium streak kind of running along, I guess, so we'll, we'll wait and see. The Dakar begins January 5th in Saudi Arabia. Catch all the KTM Rally Team highlights on Red Bull TV.